Today we're going to be doing a hardness test and a brief overview of the Spyderco Resilience. This is the bigger brother to the Spyderco Tenacious. They also make a smaller one called the Spyderco Persistence. Persi pers Persistence, Tenacious, Resilience. See that 10 times fast. I have a video on the Spyderco Tenacious already that is in a playlist which will contain all of the hardness testing videos. If you go to my YouTube channel homepage, click on playlist, it will be right there under the playlist, hardness testing. As always, the hardness tester has been calibrated multiple times on multiple different test blocks, as well as I will be analyzing each test result against other test results that I have previously completed and comparing all of those results to help maintain accuracy. So without further ado, let's get to the overview and the testing. It's like a three second test, but I'm trying to fill out a couple of minutes here. First thing we'll do is disassemble the knife to get a nice flat spot for testing. The Resilience is a very easy knife to disassemble as long as you can handle very small screws. Give the blade a quick cleaning and onto the tester. The Rockwell hardness tester works by pushing a diamond tip penetrator into the steel under a set load. The tester then reads how deep the diamond penetrated into the steel. The harder the steel, the less it penetrates. The softer the steel, the more it penetrates. It's a fairly simple test at its core. And I hope you appreciate this super ultra close up. This shot took me over an hour to get. For some reason I want to watch Independence Day now. And here's the small dimple the penetrator leaves behind. Looks like our first test was 60. I ran this test five times and all of those tests were exactly 60. I'll then reassemble the knife and make sure the blade is exactly centered by adjusting the pivot screw. I've had this knife for over 10 years at this point and I've maybe carried it three times total. So it's really not broken in yet or at all. So working the action, hoping to loosen it up a little. So if you don't mind a knife that's made in China, this is a decent quality knife for the money. From what I've seen, Spyderco does a really good job with their heat treatment with 8CR13 MOV. And this knife takes an extremely sharp edge very easily. This is not the stock edge. I have done some edge retention testing with it and sharpened it, but this is the edge that's currently on the knife and this is a hair whittling edge, believe it or not. For me this knife is way too big to carry in any sort of capacity, but for you it might be exactly what you need. So let me know in the comments below if there's a particular knife that you would like to see tested here and uh, quickly reviewed on the YouTube channel. And as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.